Hey everyone, Ryan Ferran here with a quick iMovie video tutorial for the iPhone app. So this is how to make your video a little better with the zoom feature when editing your video and if something is, you didn't frame up somebody um, too well and you have some issues here, like you take a look at this video, the headroom is obviously a little too high. Um, so how do you easily fix that in iMovie? And then after that, I'm gonna show you a really cool technique to make your um, some of your studio videos make it look like it's a multi-camera shoot. So I'll have that coming up in just a moment. So here's the video right here. You're not thrilled with how it's framed. Maybe you wanna go in a little closer. So <clears throat> click on the timeline on the individual clip itself. And then in the player top right, you'll see that magnifying glass. So all you need to do is tap on the magnifying glass and then it'll give you pinch to zoom. So just like you're looking closer at a photo, you can just zoom and adjust the entire clip and then that's how it'll play. So it's just super easy, super convenient. And I think the so fact that we have both supportive parents make things a lot easier when you're shooting interviews and framing people up. Um, so you don't have to be as precise and if something happens, there you go, it's an easy fix. So again, touch on the clip, you'll see it's yellow highlighted, then go to the player top right, you'll see the magnifying glass, click on that, and you can zoom in and out however you would like. So for this next thing I would like to show you, so this is really cool. So we have this digital education station that we do for our school district, or Kitty Unified. It's shot on the iPhone, just one camera. Usually there's two people in there. I'll be interviewing somebody. And so we started thinking, let's do, an, let's do another camera in there, um, a close up uh, of the guest. And then that way we can have kind of looks like a two camera shoot and we can edit it together. With this feature, it makes life so much easier because you don't have to match up the video, the audio, all you need to do. So here's our, our one camera on both of us. So my guest is talking there, that's Dominic, the city manager. So if I wanna pretend like we're going to camera two, take Dominic, just ISO on him, this is what we would do. So what, you find the point in the timeline, click on the timeline, and then so say it's there, I'm going to split. So now I'll take this clip and for however long, I'm not gonna to wanna to do it there because he stopped talking. So we'll do it here. And then we'll split. So this part, I will zoom in on him to make it look like it's a second camera we're taking. So that's a multi multiple camera shoot in the studio. So this is what that now looks like, and the audio and video is perfectly matched up. The initial design, again, a lot of brick, has a big courtyard in the middle of it. There's a, a community, there. public gathering space, uh, trying to be sensitive again to so you can see uh, the, the look and feel of. The initial design, again, a lot of brick, has a big courtyard in the middle of it. There's a community, here, public gathering boom, space, cut to camera uh, trying two. to be sensitive again. And then, so you can even do the same thing for me. Say, I'm talking here. We go back to the two shot and we want to zoom in on me. Camera three, now we're going to a three camera shoot in studio, even though it's obviously only one. So go back top right, hit the zoom, and then we go like this, we frame it up. Not that anybody wants to see me that close and personal, but so now you go from just a two, two person in the shot the entire time to your talk, he's talking, take camera two, ISO on him, back to camera one, two of us, and then zoom in on me, and then back to them. So all you need to do is splice, split the clip, and then zoom in on the particular subject, and there you go. So you have a one camera shoot that looks way more professional. It looks like you have all these different cameras, and this is an easy way to do it on the iPhone app um, to really make the quality of your videos much, much better and much more professional. For more iPhone movie editing tips and techniques, I just actually posted one about the Ken Burns effect on my blog, ryanprforan.blogspot.com. You can also find me on Twitter at 
Ryan P. Ferran. Hope that helps. Talk to everybody soon. Thank you all.